I've got, and this is on the Maxima, the, um, the problem I've been having where the car doesn't want to start, uh, because I have to jiggle the shifter, this is the problem. See you can see that. You see that right there? Well, that's the end of the shift cable. Well, inside of there, there's supposed to be a grommet uh, uh, so that it uh, stays in place. Uh, what happens in a lot of cars is that grommet just disintegrates and the cable comes loose and then you can't even shift. Um, this one, fortunately, the cable didn't come loose completely, but uh, it'll leave you in a place where um, so it, it, the you put it in park but it, it uh, the transmission doesn't think it's in park. The computer doesn't think it's in park um, until you jiggle the shifter around, and then it figures it out. Because the that there has a um, grommet missing, so it it, it has more sl uh, slack there. I can't get it out there right now. To I mean, I can't show it to you uh, right now. Look for a video update on, um, I ordered it, there's a bushing you can order. You, if you want to get this from Nissan, you have, they make you buy the whole cable, which is m more expensive. Um, you can buy an aftermarket bushing that goes in there that'll work just fine. It's a couple days later, back in the Maxima here. Let me see if I can get my flashlight. Now, I ordered this part online from Amazon, not from Amazon, from eBay. Uh, this part, this is the bushing that's missing this is a driver helps you push it in this is a little packet of grease um that's gonna go in here somewhere and i'm gonna try to show you um but the best way to do this is we got to take off the um transmission cable um so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm going to put the key in the ignition and move the shifter down so i have a little more room to work with so i'll i'll, I'll cut back in you got here let me see if i can you can see me in here. You see, you see right there. That's the transmission shift cable. It's missing a bushing. It is still on the shifter, so you can it, it it'll work sort of. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off this clip, so that I can then take this the transmission shift cable out, so that I can replace that because. Putting it down there, odds are I'm probably uh, trying to put it on while it's in there. I will probably lose it, and I don't. Then I'd have to take off the whole shifter, which I don't want to do. This just makes it easier. So to take shifter cable out, we that's a clip that just pulls right out. Take out the shift cable. We this will pull out. Don't lose it. Be very careful. Um, uh, some of this stuff is sharp. So now to get the shift cable out, you're going to push down and then up. Actually, you're going to have to push the shift shifter down a little bit. I've never done this before, so I'm going to try. See, you push down. And then we should be able to pull up. There. Now, in order to get the cable out, we gotta we gotta uh, loosen it up up here. So that means I have to purposely disconnect the cable, which I just did with a screwdriver. So <laughs> now we should be able to just pull out what I've done is I've loosened where is that loosen this up this is the that's the cable lift so I can just move a little bit and right here in here let me see if you can't see that or can you hand you see right there that's the shifting cable where the bushing is going to go in 
Uh, I would normally would I probably would have been better if I could take it out, but I can't get the cable to go back far enough. So I'll have to do it, push it in right there as a uh, the, the way to get to it. I'm not gonna be able to show it any more than this. Here's the bushing. The side with the grooves goes, uh, well, towards, uh, if you're, I'm on the passenger side, so towards the driver's side. And this is, uh, and you're gonna put some grease on it from the supplied packet here. I got it on. What I had to do was hold the cable back from behind and I pushed it on with my right hand. Now I have to remove the cable back up into here so I can put it on that uh, little uh, knob there. Uh, you see in there now, you see, you know, you, there, you can see it there. Uh, what I had to do is I reached, I was holding it with my left hand up top a little bit and I pushed in from the side where you could see it uh, and then slipped it over the uh, cable, the uh, little slot there. And I did lube it up and, and now all I gotta do is put all this stuff back. I will show a video on how I put it back because I didn't do one to how you take it apart. Later. Sorry to take a video. I'm putting this all back together. Um, I pr uh, I've just put my put it up in the stand and it'll catch what it catches. Make sure your, your parking brake is on. Now we've got to put this back on. So, uh, kind of work it around like that. Um, and then put it back in. Okay. There is one bolt, one screw, that goes back here. So you want to arrange the plastic so that you can screw it back in. We'll put the, whatever this tray is, right in there. So now <coughs> we got to put all the plastic back, and that's this, I guess you call it the house, whatever you call this thing, so we're going to do that, we're going to open the emergency brake, oh, we have to take it and put it in the park, give us room, oh, oh, goes on first is this plastic part oh we put that on first then this cover goes on
Now, we get this on here. Okay, there's gonna be the two bolts that go here. They will correspond to something there, but this has to go in like that. And on the side here, it has these clips that you need to uh, get them into. Uh, got it all back together. I did have a little bit of issue with there. There were some wires that are, that are under this. You gotta make sure they're tucked away. Otherwise it'll prevent this from, this baluster or whatever you call this thing, well, from going down. Um, I may have to adjust the neutral safety switch because it is brand new and I, I, I had adjusted it when this the, the grommet was, uh, well, the bushing was bad. So I may have to readjust it, but for now it's in park starts uh take it now it's in reverse no. oh yeah you see put it in drive put it in neutral well but that's in reverse actually it's not yeah i need to adjust the neutral safety switch um the the range sensor so it knows what gear is in um so i'll do that i got a video on that uh because uh, anyway, later.